Do you have so many notes that your second brain has become almost useless? I was capturing ideas faster than I could process them and it began to slow me down. But what if your second brain could organize itself? What if AI could help distill your messy thoughts into clear, actionable knowledge that you can actually use? Here's the problem. Our minds work on multiple threads at one time. It's hard to do things sequentially. Like, yes, we can focus that way, but in the background, our subconscious is processing multiple things. Now, I've seen every AI tool today just generate more content, but what good are generated summaries if you can't make use of them or you can't find them or you forgot you did this already? So I'm building Open Augie an augmented intelligence system to help you organize your thinking. It's using AI to distill information rather than generate more. Open Augie is a system that'll automatically cluster related ideas, deduplicate them to their core concept, and distill your messy thoughts into clear, actionable information. It's about removing the bottleneck of information processing so you can focus on what comes next, and you can pick up right where you left off rather than having to repeat yourself or find that note or link together all your messy thinking. This is what I want, this is the magic of compounding your knowledge, is be able to build on what you did previously. And so today I'm sharing the first prototype. And if you're like me, hopefully this can help you solve that problem of information overload. All right, so diving in a bit, uh, this is really the problem I was trying to solve. So as you can see here, this is my Obsidian inbox. It's got 274 notes. Now, capture obviously is not a problem for me. I have one tap on my phone and I'm able to write things down. I take voice notes as well, and then I have Readwise syncing here. But the problem is I, I can't keep up processing these. And given my limited time with two kids, a day job, and trying to build this project open source right now, I really don't have much time to sit here and go through my obsidian. So I tend to repeat myself in my inbox where you'll see a couple of these might be like building on stuff the previous day just because I'm going faster and I'm trying to find the previous note, but it's hard to always do that. And so what I wanted to do was basically have an LLM process all this for me so I get out of this mess and into something much more usable. The typical or general solutions would say things like don't capture as much, be a better curator, basically be like a better librarian of your own notes. And I don't want to be a librarian. I want to keep doing what I want to do. I want to work on projects that are interesting to me. I want to remember and develop thought lines that I find intriguing. So I want to be a thinker. I want to keep creating and building. I want to keep moving forward. And that's what Open Augie is, a tool that listens to you, it organizes your messy thinking and removes that overwhelm of too much information. And I wanted to enable you just to keep moving forward as you capture and it does the distilling and organizing and able to surface what's relevant as you, <clears throat> as you work on what you need to. So at a high level, Open Augie is a modular framework where you can swap in different components. And I, I see it very similar to some of the tools out there like LangChain and text AI where you're just piecing together steps of a pipeline. And so right now, like we have a source component which comes from Llama Index to read in the raw files, a knowledge store, which I'm using LanceDB, that's your, your vector slash graph store or your vector store plus some metadata. Um, an extractor, which is how we extract the atomic ideas from our raw notes. So sometimes uh, when you're taking notes, you ramble, you have a lot of different ideas in there. The first step that I'm doing here is trying to identify atomic single thoughts that stand on their own and pull that out into its own unit or its own document. And so in, in the example I've been showing you, these blue dots here are atomic ideas extracted from my inbox only. I, I haven't been able to run this on my full second brain yet, but on the 300 or so notes in my inbox, these are all the atomic ideas. And you can see we have some pretty cool clusters here that pop up. Uh, so this is the extraction step that we see. And then after we do the extraction, we embed them using OpenAI's embedding model. And so I, I ran this yesterday with OpenAI's embedding model and the whole process took about 30 cents, but this was using O1 Mini. And then we get to what I call the distiller, which is where you take these clusters of atomic ideas and then distill them down by deduplicating the information using an LLM to remove overlapping ideas or combine them into one note. And so that's what the distillation is. And you can see here, like some of these distilled notes look on top of each other or look closer together and that needs to be improved. But this is a 2D rendering of embeddings in 1500 dimensions. I used OpenAI's small embedding model. So even though these points are very close together, in the bigger 1500 dimensional space of the actual numerical representation of their meaning, which is what an embedding is, they could be further apart. It just looks this way because you can't visualize 1500 dimensions on a flat screen. So that's what this 2D image is doing is it's trying to reduce down those 
embeddings into something we can plot on an XY coordinate system. Uh, so even though these are on top of each other, I think they might be further apart. This is something though to further investigate. And obviously this distillation piece and the clustering needs to be improved, but you get the idea. It's like we have all these different atomic notes now. You can see these, these groupings together. And rather than having hundreds and hundreds of notes, or in the case of me, when I take a voice note or when I'm doing like a reflection, I might have ideas from multiple clusters popping up on my daily note. And so now by breaking them into small pieces, they can cluster together with their other bits of that thought or the other steps in that thought pattern I have. And then I can put this distilled note right on top of them and have them sort of summarized or deduplicated in a way that makes this easier to find. Like, so for example, here, note management organization system, developing and implementing a distillation service. Like these are all higher, higher level concepts, exploring time series AI and, and trading. These are all higher level concepts that encapsulate those atomic notes there. And now going forward, if I want, I could easily append to this line of thought or pull this out and see that development of this particular topic much more than uh, needing to worry about that myself, where I can just capture and let the LLM break apart my raw note into these tiny little pieces that then get funneled into the correct thought pattern, the thought train uh, that they belong to. And that allows me to build on different trains of thought, but not having to spend cognitive energy thinking about where does this one go? Where does this one go? And so this prototype was just milestone one. Like, I think this is just the beginning. I still see the best way of adapting to the intelligence age by building our own augmented intelligence, by putting us at the center and using LLMs to help us process and move faster with information, not necessarily to drown us in more information. My goal here is to merge the best of what AI can do with the best of what my brain can do. And that's what I think augmented intelligence is. And I think that's how we stay relevant as AI continues to get better, whether we're engineers, knowledge workers, or anybody. If we can use these tools for what they're good at, but still maintain our humanity, and that's where augment stay human comes from. If we can augment with these tools and then embrace the best of what we're able to do, that's how we adapt to this intelligence age. And so on the roadmap in the next few versions, uh, the next milestone, I think I'm gonna work on scaling this out a little bit. It was pretty slow on just my inbox with all the LLM calls and the embeddings and the clustering. Uh, so I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna add a bit of a UI there because right now you just saw I was mainly working through a notebook in, in my IDE. So this way, the idea is you can drag in your second brain or drag in your inbox and then I will process it for you with the system and it will produce this distilled version. So then you can have two kind of versions of your second brain. You have your raw sources and then you'll have this sort of clean, distilled, generated one that uses your content, but that helps you see things maybe in a different way. And then I think also later in milestone three, I wanna create this like human in the loop workflow where it's like a pull request like interface where once we embed and distill your new inbox notes, you could see where the suggested nodes would be added to your existing knowledge graph. And you could see what changes would be created by uh, extracting atomic ideas or by creating a concept note and allow you to edit them before you accept like a merge and put it into your second brain. So again, the idea is that this isn't generating content for you. It's taking what you've already put in and just organizing it for you, trying to structure it in a way that makes it more useful. And I have these problems a lot, so I'm mainly using myself as the guinea pig here to, to figure out what I would actually want to use. But if you're like me and you're drowning in notes and struggling to make sense of everything that you capture, I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments, like, is this interesting? What problems do you have in your second brain? Is this something you'd want to use? Uh, I'm looking for alpha testers though, too. So if you're very interested and motivated, uh, I'll send you a Discord invite. Just comment below that you're interested. Or you can head to openaugi.com, openaugi.com, and sign up on the email list so you, so you can be kept up to date for any future releases, but also get into the closed alpha testing. But let me know what you want to see. I, I have my own second brain problems. I want to hear where that overlaps with you and if we can build something useful together. I think this is an exciting time, augmented intelligence. There's more people starting to talk about it, starting to pick up steam. Uh, so remember, until next time, augment, stay human. Thanks for watching.